Is it, what is that Jay? Is that oh well? <clears throat> I guess it begins. The fourth day is J. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what the fuck happened to you then? <clears throat> What do you mean? <laughs> okay. Well, <clears throat> you're missing half your clothes and you're in a fucking wheelchair. And you've got an eye patch on. That's what I mean. <laughs> so, you don't know what happened to me? Oh, yeah, but I was just going to see if you told me yourself. You know, I can't know what happened. You got shot. Yeah. I got shot, bro. I'm guessing you just got out then? Yeah. I got out. Thankfully. <laughs> <clears throat> How long were you in there for? Last I heard of you, it was before my meth run. Yeah, I don't know. To me, it felt like an hour, but I, doctors told me I was in there for four days. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <clears throat> After the shit I've been hearing today, I think you've missed a lot in those four days as well, I can't lie. What's up, Jay, man? I don't know, bro. Last time, uh, last time we spoke, you said you wanted to talk to me, but we never got the, we never really got the opportunity to have that talk. Is that something you want to do then? You want to go have that talk? <laughs> More like the arms. saying you want to do, big man. Maybe you should, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, do you want to go to your apartment and pawn some clothes or some shit first? Nah, I, I can stay like this, bro. Um. I'll just, um. I'll just get in your car, you know. I mean, why don't we take, well, I mean, I'm with Saint, so why don't you, I, we should take her car and we take your car. I'm not really, like, in the best position to drive, like I'm doing it, but I'm driving, like, real slow, you know? That's fine. I maybe you give me the keys and I drive. Okay, will you go open the door for me? <laughs> I got you, bro. I'm gonna open it from this side and push it out, alright? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get in the car, okay? Alright. Your yeah. hand or you good? I I should be good, I should be good. Ugh. Just give me a, just give me one sec, give me one sec. <laughs> Fuck's sake, bro. Oh. I found a contact right here. I found the contact. <laughs> oh, like, I can't, bro, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, fuck. There's the keys, man. I got him. I can't, I can't. <clears throat> So what do you want to talk about first? The fact that you don't trust me or what you got shot for? Listen, I don't... Uh, I don't want to talk about the shooting, bro. I just want to forget about that. I don't I don't want to hear about it. I don't want... I don't want nothing, bro. <clears throat> what makes you think that I don't trust you? Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe the part where you said, <laughs> no, we can't trust him. Read to that to hard Um, uh, at first I was kind of like, eh, maybe he's joking. And you doubled down on it by saying, when you save my life, I'll trust you. And you said that shit twice. And then you didn't even hit me up on nothing afterwards, man. Jay. I didn't trust you. You wouldn't be rolling out with us all the time, every day, bro. You 
Yeah, but it ain't really like that though, is it? I only roll out when you might need a sixth. It's not like, uh, it's not like, I mean, listen, don't get me wrong. Yeah, we chill every now and then, but it ain't like, it ain't like what, I guess it ain't really like what I expected, you know? What do you mean? Like, I don't know, man. I thought, I, you know, I thought we'll be, uh, thought we'll be, uh, you know, big chilling all the time, getting into, like, getting into shit, you know, just, <clears> like, just chilling, bro. But, like, I didn't really like that. It seems that I'm only really, uh, invited when, like, say, there's a squad of six for something, you know? A boost. Nah, oh. not even, bro. I always told you to call me. And I've always been calling you. We've just been busy, bro. And yeah, of course I call you for the, to be involved in the six. That's because I trust you, bro. You're the one who's beside me when we're rolling out. If I didn't trust you, you wouldn't be there, bro. All the boys trust you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I hear it. I don't know, man. Maybe I was just, uh... I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I already spoke to a few people about it still, and I think, you know... I was just kind of overthinking the whole situation. Kind of pissed me off that no one backed me, I can't lie. Like, I get that you were joking, but... With the way that it was perceived from the whole situation... The fact that, like, there was no context to it... I don't know, it felt like, um... It was a serious thing and, and, and nobody backed me. And nah, none of the boys, nah, especially nah, nah, Ladia. Nah. It ain't even like that, bro. It ain't on you, bro. It was on me. No. It was my bad to say that. You know? I shouldn't have said that to you. Because we do trust you. You are the boy. No, I may I may have saw it as a joke in the meantime. But like I didn't look at it from your perspective. And I can see how that came across to you. But I'm letting you know that that ain't the case, bro. You you are my brother. You are family, yeah? I wanted you in RDM. I wanted you in MDMA. And I want you to have a chain because I trust you and you are family. Same with everyone else, not just me. Uh, See what I'm saying? I appreciate, of course I do, but I appreciate you saying that, you know? Like, like I said, I ain't gonna lie, I, I spoke to, uh, <clears throat> to Batar, I spoke to T. Um, I'll be honest, they kind of they kind of approached me, though it won't really. I didn't even go to them, they came to me. I was trying to approach you, bro. You were busy I know, all I day. know. I would. No, no, I don't blame you for that. I, you know, I already said like, you know, you reached out and you tried to chat to me, but I was, uh, I was too busy doing stuff. You know? Nah, I hear that. The, the, the whole thing, you know, to me, like, I saw it as, it's like a joke. You know, you were there. Like I said it because you were next to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, Dean yeah. was like, "Yo, can, can you guys trust Jay?" I was like. Nah, not really. No, even if it was a joke, I understand why I shouldn't be saying it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, yeah. I was, I'm meant to be second in command. You know what I'm saying? I'm meant to, meant to set an example, meant, meant to put you boys on the right path, the right direction. But I didn't do it then. You know, and maybe. Who knows? That that's on me. And no, I mean you no, can't I take apologize the whole blame, if you, you know? if you took it out, but I can't because if I didn't say those things, it wouldn't have led to this situation. Yeah, well maybe I shouldn't be so fucking soft and believe everything you say, man. I know that uh, one of your goals every day is to wake up and annoy me, man. That's, uh, and you yeah, know maybe uh. I'm, I'm just I trying mean, to make you know. sure that you, you know, 
I'm hard on everyone. I'm 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 hard on everyone so they build that that thick skin and what's needed for for this life. You know what I'm saying? I hear it. No, for sure, but and I appreciate the I appreciate what you're saying. You know, it goes uh it goes a long way. It goes much further than you think. It's like I don't know. I guess sometimes I can feel a bit left out. Um, I know you say you're always dragging me through on the six in terms of like, you know, because you trust me in that. I guess, I don't know, sometimes I see every man rolling deep, doing the, just, just jamming, not really doing anything, just vibing. I don't really get that invitation. Kind of like, I don't know, kind of just sat around, not really doing nothing. But I, I also understand that normally balancing between like chilling with you, man, and then making sure Saints got people to chill with and stuff and... No, man. Shit can be a bit hard sometimes. What you have to realize, Jay, is that there's just there's so many people in this in this family, this gang, mm -hmm. that with what we do, we just can't all be involved. And I've I always agree. tried to, you know, make it even as much as possible. You know, I I I have to play. The persona and and this character of of being a dick, right? To try to put people in place, so they don't step out of line. But it seems to be that I was the one who stepped out of line, like telling you that no, we can't trust you. Because I didn't realize how that could affect you or anyone, right? Mm -hmm. I only saw it as a joke. You know what I mean? And that's on me. I say, bro, goes a long way. You uh, saying these things in the pre, you know, and apologizing and shit. Because, yeah, I, I really, uh, you know, I'm guessing not a lot of people get to see this, this, side, this side of you. So for you to, uh, to be genuine when you say this shit, it, um, yes, I guess, like I say, it goes a lot, a lot, but it goes a long, long way, bro. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, bro. There's just, there's just things within the gang that people, people don't know. Like, same with like man the members of the chain even mdma whatever it's not everyone knows everything you know mm -hmm. it, it, and it's one of them ones is that what you mean when when you said like you couldn't trust me this time that nah, i couldn't know no that was me just fucking around because obviously i trust you jay man every every opportunity we get I'm always calling to see if you're there to pull through. If I didn't trust you, you wouldn't be there. I trust you with my life. That's my boy. And I think it's only fair for you to know that T told me about what Dean was considering telling me. What do you mean? T told me about the bench. I was on the block. T approached me about I heard there's some shit gone down. And I wanted to get my side of things. Um, basically told him how I felt. So, and that. so he asked for your side of things. He, so he basically said, I heard something's happened. Mm. And I was like, what about the whole trust thing? And he's like, I don't know, you tell me. I just kind of told him from my perspective, how I saw the whole thing, like Marie getting my uh, fucking ocean dumped. And then you saying the whole, like, I can't trust you thing after that. Um, I just basically told him how I've been feeling that. Um, and then he just, basically said listen i i trust you told me it and was like listen i'm, I'm sure everyone else trusts you as well like you just kind of got to speak to adam about it obviously i never really got the chance because i think 
you know, you weren't you weren't too in doing too hot then. So mm. yeah, he basically just told me as like a I guess as a a reassurance, you know, like just saying like I trust you, he kinda went a step further and said like you know, gave me gave me that piece of information which I can appreciate, you know, it's not something that uh everyone will know and should know. So yeah. Hmm. And we just kinda talked it out and listen I I don't know man. It's uh I just I did tell him that I genuinely felt like sometimes I, I only I only get a call when uh when my skill sets needed. Obviously, you know, like you said, man, I guess maybe I was overthinking things a little bit, you know, we're busy, we don't always have the time to chill. Like you said, man, there's a lot of people in the family, you know, you try and make room for everyone and it's not always possible, so hmm. Abdul rated stream with four hundred and seventy six well, viewers. The thing is, T spoke to you about it, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's an opportunity he gave you that he didn't give me. So, Abdul with the raid. I mean, he asked me. Appreciate you, me bro. Me actually, you're a funny guy, man. I love um, you, Abdul. Nothing but love always. You I hope a secret between me and everything and is well with you, like, brother, and I hope everything continues to be well. You are a great person, a great role player, and open, I wish you so nothing. Like knows. Wish you nothing. I said to him, like, I, but I, love. Serious? Like, I would feel and like I'm the best going behind in life, brother. Thank you so much for the raid, guys. I didn't tell you. I play Adam or Bob or second in command, but the man them for how long? I don't know. But serious RP. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. You mentioned it to me. And obviously, I'm telling you. Hmm. Does, does Dean know that you know? Um, I, he hasn't, he hasn't mentioned it to me, but I'm pretty sure Tommy told Patar to tell Dean. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure Patar said he would tell Dean. So, I uh, know, I, I know Tommy and Patar know, so I'm guessing Patar would have told Dean, yeah. Uh, well well that's why Dean wanted you to step aside the other day because the way we do it the way that it works is that it's his so he gets to decide and determine who knows and who doesn't mm -hmm. understandable I mean, now you know though, right? So, I mean, would Dean not be? I mean, I like to say I haven't spoken to Dean personally, but if that's the case, I don't want Dean to be like mad at me or Tommy for that. I don't, you know? I don't think he'll be seriousness. Right. I, f I think he was gonna tell you anyway, bro. The, w the way he does it is the people that he sees that are to gonna get a chain. Content. He tells, so it solidifies themselves. Like, in the family, right? And I'm pretty Man sure you were you were next in line to know. So I don't think you mind. Mm. They left. Well, but, yeah, I don't, I, I don't just call you for to be involved in the six to to go do things, bro. I've always told you to build my line, oh, and I've always built your line just to even hang out and chill. You should, you should, I feel like what I said was wrong, but at the same time, you should know better from me and the relationship that we have built that what I said was not serious yeah. because we, we, uh, you know, being real here, we talk to, we talk shit to each other back and forth all the time. We, we say dumb shit, right? That, that's Literally. our relationship. And... You know, you should know by now what I feel like, what I'm like. And that doesn't put me in the right. You know, Not like I sure. said, what I said was wrong. I shouldn't have said it because, you know, I do have to set that example. But I, I just thought you would have known that I was joking, right? That's where I went wrong. Mm. I assumed. Same thing with T, right? That's what he did. 
He didn't speak to me. But at least he spoke to you. Yeah, I hear it. And maybe you should speak to T, bro. Don't uh, go, uh, uh... Go, go see what he's been up to recently, you know? Well, he's not around that much, but, uh... I don't know, when was the last time you two chilled? Yeah... Yeah, I'll give him a visit, that's for sure. But I know, I don't really know the full extent. I know you don't want to talk about it, but... I don't want to talk about it, bro. I know you don't, and we ain't going to talk about it. But I think if, um... Just like me and you right now, I mean, you know... You need to do this, unfortunately, once again... With Tommy. And I guess you're not in the wrong this time. He's in the wrong because I I've already said I don't think what happened is right and I believe SK or said that as well. Um, but it's for you two to to squash on another day. Hmm. We'll see, man. He. <laughs> You already had the opportunity to talk. Yeah, maybe he was busy, man. I don't know. But yeah, Jay, I do trust you with family, bro. I hear that, brother, and I like say, trust me, like. I guess once uh once I'd spoken to some of the other boys and kinda fought by a little bit, yeah, maybe I was just um you know, overreacting a little bit or like uh, you know was, you know, just being a bit sensitive, you know, but I, I guess it's because like you said, we do we do we do shit on each other. That was like was a little bit further than what you normally go, you know? But you you know, it is what it is. It it doesn't matter anymore, man, like and we put shit behind us and we get active. Simple as. I hear you, bro. I don't know how active I'm gonna be, but... <laughs> I was gonna say, you ain't looking like you're in any shape to be active. One sec. Nice, oh, put it down. Um, Yeah, it doesn't look like you're in any shape to be active, I can't lie. No. What are you gonna... What are you gonna do? Have you spoke to anyone else yet? Like, have you seen anyone else? Nah. When the time comes, the time comes. Hell no. Are you, are you just gonna try and avoid people for now, or? Like I said, when the time comes, the time comes. They'll know. The gang will know. Oh. So what's the what's the motive now then? What what, what are you thinking of doing? It's just um, it's some things that I gotta, I gotta wrap my head around, you know, some things that I gotta figure out. Need a hand, man? Like? Nah, that should be good, bro. I should be good. But as long as we good, then we chilling, you know. Hey man, we good, we good, you know. And shit like this, bro. Makes you stronger in the long run, you know? Nah, I hear that, I hear that. I guess, uh, like I say, man, it just, uh... You boys are the, are the family, you know? Uh, I don't really, other than you boys and Saint, I don't really have fuck all else going on, so... Yes, yeah, so I just got a bit concerned about my... My position. Nah, and, I uh, Nah, it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't that deep, bro. All I know now is I gotta make some fucking money. And... Uh, I don't really know. It's just... Not really an awful lot going on. I mean, listen, I don't know... You wanna speak to Dean or what? I don't know what's going on with that guy, but... He's been, uh... I don't know, ain't really my place to, to, to say, but... I mean, at the same time... This fucking guy is like... Waterboarding... MDMR artist, like Mandem Records artist, because he's got something going on with Dwayne. 
almost like I don't know, dragon saint to it. Well, I was, I, so yeah, and I wasn't, I wasn't happy about that. Like I told him, I wasn't happy about that. I said like, don't be bringing her into your shit because she ain't even manned him or anything. Um, and he kind of tried to spin it on me and was like, saying you want to be manned him though, right? And I was like, Dean, like doing dumb shit like that with you isn't gonna help with getting manned him. And then uh, he mm. called me and he was like, um. You ever talked to me that like like that again? And I was he was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking ocean dump Saint. And I says, Dean. I was like, listen, Dean, you, I don't know why you're threatening her, big man, when she ain't even gonna do nothing back. How about you come for me? And just basically stuck it on him and said, like, listen, you're always going for people's girls, like, come for me, big man. If you wanna do something, come to me and do something about it. And uh and then he kinda just left it at that. And then um Caught, he caught me lacking, but he didn't, I wouldn't say he caught me lacking because I wasn't really expect, like he, he pulled him next to me. He was like, "Yo, do you want to talk?" And I was like, "I right, say so let's let's talk." Like, thought we was gonna talk like, like, like fucking boys. And then I don't know, he pulled a gun. Like he didn't do nothing, but he pulled a gun. Like took me to the ocean. He was like, "Look how easy it is for me to do something if I wanted to." And I was like, "Yeah, but that's because I trusted you, big man. Like, if you want to break that trust, that's fine. It was just, this this ain't gonna happen again." And he was like, nah, I don't ocean dump family and he kinda left it at that. So I don't know, I think him and like I like I would say that that's like squash the beef. There ain't really no beef in it. It's just I don't really appreciate people threatening like saying for me. Like if you wanna do something, like do something to me or at least try and, and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Like going after someone else that's pretty defenseless is is kinda dead, I can't lie. But then again, that's kinda what he's doing with the whole Mandem Records thing. I think he's him and him and Dwayne have got like something going on and I think he's targeting the artists because of that. I don't really know the full context so that's why I'm just kind of letting you know like the little bits that I do know and I'm thinking like maybe you should should speak to him but I think one important thing and I, I haven't really spoke to Dwayne though he did say or, or sorry Winston did say that um apparently Dean said uh, sorry apparently Dwayne said something along the lines of Mandem is no longer my family, so I think that's why we, uh, Dean's doing this shit. He's, he's saying that like, because I said to him like, it's an internal conflict. Don't drag Saint into internal conflicts, and he said it's bigger than that now. It ain't internal because apparently Dane, uh, Dw fucking Dwayne ain't family no more. So mm. I don't really know. Like, like I say, it ain't. I ain't getting involved in that beef because that just it seems like a Dean and Dwayne thing. I just I mean, didn't appreciate him dragging Saint into it when it ain't nothing to do with her either. I mean, what you want me to do about it, bro? I don't know where I stand anymore. I don't want you to do nothing about it. I'm just letting you know so you don't act fuck or you know what I mean? So you ain't surprised you hear about Dean shooting up Man Down Records. I'm telling you because you're the fucking boy in the 2IC and I feel like it's certain that you should know. You know, I don't I don't expect you to do shit about it. I can't I can't lie, bro. I, I don't think any of us could really do shit about it. That's a that's a Dean and Twain thing. But at the same time, I feel like you should definitely know and I'll be you know, if I didn't tell you now I might find out later on, so I might as well just get it out of the fucking way. Mm. Well Who knows man? After what happened to me? Yeah. I don't know where I stand, bro. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Why should I deal with this now? Why do I have to be the one? I don't give a fuck. Let them do what they want to do. This is the, yeah, you know what this sounds like? The... You know what this sounds What's like? That? This sounds like a T problem. Maybe T, you go speak to them like you did to me. Huh. Oh wait. I mean, I agree in the sense of like maybe this is like, yeah, leadership should probably uh should probably stand, stand you know, should, should probably do something about this. But I ain't gonna lie, Adam. Like on a big man thing, when seeing around, you're basically leader, bro. Like it's no, you ain't got that two I see on your head top for nothing, bro. Like T can't always be around. We we all know this. This you know always gonna be like that but 
That's where you come in, bro. And the reason he's put you in this position is because he knows that he can't always be around. But you can, and you're the one that's good enough to make these decisions. Yo, just give me like five minutes, man. I'll call you back, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Um, yeah, he, he gave you two IC for a reason. Because he can't be around. And he needs someone who can step up and make those decisions while he's not around. And he thinks you're capable of doing that. And if he didn't, he would have put Dean there. He would have put Patar there. He would have put fucking Dwayne there. But we all know that. I mean, especially two out of those three, if that would have happened, I don't know where the fuck Mano would be right now. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> so, off that everything that's happened to me you just want me to 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 go back and and and, and help this man like like nothing's happened no you definitely need to uh sit down and speak to him and and get his perspective because i i didn't really ask about the situation i think he told me told me a little bit about it but i can't remember enough for me to try and quote him because I don't want to say something that he didn't say, but you definitely, I mean, it's like, it's hard. It, it is hard. I get like what you're saying, bro. He's uh, he's put you in a position where you don't really want to, I don't know, man. It, I don't think, I don't know if he was trying to set an example of what, well, I guess he was, right? I guess he wants to show people that, um, Oh, he can do stuff like that and shooting you the two I see the guy at the tippity top just behind him if he's willing to shoot you what the fuck is he willing to do to everyone else I guess that's kind of how I see it right if he's willing to fucking blam you and I know you may think it's certain small right and as far as I'm concerned I don't know the full context so from an outsider perspective it does look like something small but I'm sure there's a bigger picture if he's willing to blam you of all people then everyone else should be fucking shaking, bro. That's how I see it. So yeah, he is setting an example and it's a fucking big one as well. So no, I don't think you should just go back and fucking clean his ring and just carry on as if nothing's happened. But I do think you shouldn't you need to speak to him and get the full picture from him and why he did it. Cause it's like it's like me and you right now, bro. Obviously, yours is a little bit of a different, uh, a little bit of a different. Um, okay, never mind. Uh, you know, it's, you know, it's a very different scenario. It's the same thing, right? I was, um, you know, I wasn't really sure what to do until I spoke to people. Mm. And now I'm feeling much better. If anything, I'm feeling better than before. You know, before. I was kind of feeling a bit like lost, not really sure and, what I wanted to do. And tell me this. If T doing what he did to me was meant to stop all of this shit, then why is it still happening? Why is Dean doing these things, bro? Where were they when I needed them? They want nowhere to be seen. I mean, in T's defense, I don't know how long this has been going on for, but I don't think he's really been around um, while it's been ongoing. But if I was Dean, seeing, seeing what I saw, maybe I would be a little bit more concerned. But this is where, this is where I said that I don't think personally shooting is the way forward. Because if he had took your chain off you and said like, get the fuck off the block, that would have been a hell of a lot more scary to me than getting shot in the face, I can't lie. So it's one of them where you, you've got to speak to him and get his perspective. Bro, I nearly died, bro. The guy almost killed me. I get that I'm supposed to do these things and, and, and set an example and, and shit like that, but bro, he... He shot me. Okay, so blank what you on then? With a shotgun. <laughs> I, bro, 
I could have died, right? No. Oh. And he's using my life to set an example. That guy knows he can talk to me. That's the thing. Anyone, I've always said it to everyone that they can always talk to me. I, I always say if I do, if I do, if I do anything wrong, if I if I step out of line, just please let me know. I've said it to all the boys. I literally went out my way to speak to all the boys individually, multiple times about this, car also about that. Car also that if I go out of line, let me know, and I, and I will change my ways. No one did that for me. No one. I mean, no if one you want did the honest answer, me. I feel like the reason people probably don't reach out to you is because, uh, you know, like, I, I guess this isn't just for you. I think this is for a lot of people, but people forget when to be serious and not, or not, bro. Like, I mean, right now, this is probably the most serious conversation that I've ever had with you. I appreciate we've never really had a situation like this between us. Yeah, but the, the, but the thing is, Jay, is that I've had serious conversations with them too. More serious than not. Like yeah, I can I, I I can be a fucking idiot and 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 fuck around, but I I literally pulled all these men to the side on some serious shit, and I let them know to tell me, bro. The, the, every every uh, everyone has what they want. You know what I mean? They only care about themselves, bro. And when shit so like this goes want? down, but when shit goes like this goes down. That's, that's when you see it, bro. That's when you realize. If everyone else has got what they want, what what do you what do you want? Like, what do you, what do you want to come from this? What position do you want to be in? Do you want to keep the two IC? Uh, keep the two IC. <laughs> Who knows, bro? That's, that's questions that you at got this to ask point, yourself. At this point, who knows? Who fucking cares, honestly? Um, everybody in the man, then, brother. Hey, listen, I know I'm not the most reassuring person, but I can assure you that myself personally, and I don't often speak on behalf of other people, but I will speak on behalf of everybody else in that fucking group. And I'll tell you right now that we all care. And we all want you to be too icy. You're too icy for a reason. Mm. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know what you're probably thinking. I'm sure there's other people that would want the too icy instead of you, right? Like, I'm not going to put names in front of that sentence. But I know you're probably thinking that there's people that would happily take the too icy from you. But, like, I, I really don't think they would. You're in that position for a reason. It's a weighty position, big man. You know, it's not just two eyes. It's not, it's, not, it's not just that, though, bro. Like, you can see when people don't want you there, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, every time something like this goes down, you can see. And it, you, you can see everything. Nothing's been more clearer to me until now. What do you think? half of the boys don't want you around that's not what i'm saying who knows nice. right only time will tell i'll go about my business and whatever happens happens we'll just have to see i hear it like i say see you know i was thinking very similar bro i was very uh this is what I was saying before, I was very concerned about my position and whether or not people wanted me around and the only way to to get those thoughts out of your head Brother, is to actually speak to people. I asked you to call me every day. I asked you to just let me know. Come come hang out, bro. I let you know. I sent you. Call me, bro. I, I'll call you. Let's get active. Let's do things. Not even just to be in the six, bro. Like I understand what I said was wrong, but from those actions alone, you should, you should understand that. Clearly, me and the rest of the group trust you, and that we want you around. 
Yeah, I, I ran you now. so many times to to apologize, but you were the one who was busy, not me, bro. I was, yeah, and it's not often I'm very busy, bro. You know, I was uh, I was I was off doing something else. I, I mean, I'd probably never get the opportunity to do again. You know, like. It was bad timing, and I'm sorry. I really wish that we could have had this chat sooner. I do, because maybe if we did have this chat sooner, then you might not have been where you were when you got shot, and then you may not have got shot, and we might not even be having this conversation now. And I, you know, I I'm sorry that we didn't have this talk sooner, but there is nothing gonna change that now. You know, we have to to look forward and we have to you know go through this uh together big man at the end of the day right like oh you know, i'm feeling much better now that i've spoke to people and especially you about this now i want to help you get through this shit as well i'll be honest i think this stuff I'll, I'll be I, I think the only way to uh to start this uh, to, to to actually like start the starting point for you is to speak to T, I can't lie, bro. Like, as much as you don't want to do it. I, I'm not going out my way to speak to that guy. Do you think he'll go out of his way to speak to you? Who knows? Who fucking cares I, at I this point, bro? He didn't, he didn't give a fuck whether... Whether I died or not, he in that moment he did not give a fuck. So why should I? Was he was he there in in ICU? Who was there Monthly in ICU? I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. I'll be honest, bro. I was I was in prison, I believe, when that all went down. So I didn't find out till till afterwards. Um, but if you want to know the honest answer, who cares, bro? Uh, like I think you care, bro. Like I, I care. I ain't gonna speak. I, I ain't gonna speak on behalf of the, all the other boys and shit. But like, I know for a fact both of us care. I, you want to get this sorted. I want you to get this sorted. Sorted for and what? For the for for everything. For you, for Tommy, <laughs> for the gang. You're a lot more valuable than you think, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I think sometimes. Um, Brother, listen. Everything I ever do gets thrown out of the window because of the way I am. And I understand that and I accept that, bro. And by the true. way by the way I am, I mean like, you know, like I'm not gonna sit around and fucking lie. I'm I'm a dick, you know? I, I I'm a cunt. I understand that and I accept that. But Yeah. Who knows, man? But it still doesn't change the fact that the things you do are, are very, um, very impactful, bro. You don't... Shit that you do isn't thrown out the window. Maybe, like I say, you seem to you seem to have the same mentality a little bit that I did, where I felt like everything that I was doing was just going unnoticed. Because maybe, and I don't think this is the same in your case, but maybe the things that are going on around me was overshadowing the things that I did. I've got people like Matt, fucking you know grinding all this x corn and pushing the bank progression i got cruiser doing all his shit and what do i do okay I, I i i save people from going to prison every fucking five minutes but it's it's so small that people don't really notice it and i feel like you've you've somewhat got the same mentality even though it's not true because the things that you do are impactful like i've said this before the only like, person the the only person I gave a fuck about knowing, you know, what I did for the group was T, but he was never around to see it, and he probably never even heard about it. And then after this as well, <laughs> I, I, bro, <laughs> this is what I'm saying though. You, you, you just said it yourself. Like T is never around. To see what you're doing, and if he still has you, yeah. In so this why, so now, why did he do what he did then? It doesn't add up to me. Him. It doesn't make sense. You have to ask him. I if I'm if I'm question. doing all this shit and I'm valued like you say I am, 
And why does he go and do that? Like I say, man, if he's trying to set an example, shooting the most valuable person in the gang is, um, it's definitely fucking one way to do it. Set an example for who? I don't know. To, to I, do like what? I say, you need to speak to him. You need to speak to him. I'm just going based off what I could only think. Because there's no way he doesn't fucking like you. Because if he didn't like you, he wouldn't have used 2 IC. There's no way he wanted to shoot you for the fun of it. I mean, I've never seen T shoot anyone for the fun of it. There's obviously a reason why, and I can only give you my logical... Uh, like, guess. You have to speak to him. And I know you don't want to go out of your way to do it. But if you've got to sit around thinking about the situation and wait for him to come to you, car, I don't know how likely car, that is because I don't know T like that. Or you've got to go to him and suck it up and get on with it. I would never do this to the boys. I would, would I? I would have never done this to the boys. You know what? I mean, this is... Uh, but no, you're right, you're right. That's a, that's an, a great example to set. Shooting your own boys. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, say, say if, less. Say less. If you want me to be honest, Dwayne went on this whole rant about how family shouldn't be shooting family and, and T shooting you was ridiculous and all this and that and then went and shot Lana like a day later. <laughs> what? <laughs> It seems to me like shooting people holds no holds no consequences. Shooting people doesn't mean anything, which is baffling to me because shooting someone is so. So what what happened? What happens to you? You keep telling me all these things that that people keep doing, but what happens to them? Why am I the one and not? What happens to them? Like why do I have to be the one to do it? Why do I have to be the guy? To have the biggest punishment there is because you're the guy who i mean you have the biggest punishment because you're i guess he expects the most of you being in your position holds the most weight has the most value he expects the most out of you people at the bottom people like me he expects people like me to fuck up i'm at the bottom i'm supposed to fuck up that's this is what i do i'm at the bottom that's why i'm at the bottom it's because i'm probably gonna fuck up you're at the top because you're not supposed to fuck up. When you do fuck up, it's more important than when I fuck up. Oh, where did I fuck up? I don't know. Cause Once again, that's something you need to speak to T about, big man. I don't know that part. It really seems to me like... It needs to be T in this driver's seat, not me. I mean, I can, I can give you logical guesses, but I can't give you the real answer, bro. You need to get that from the man himself. bro like i said i i i i i don't i, I don't bro. if he if whatever happens happens bro that's that's my mentality right now and we'll see we'll see where things go we'll, we'll see all right, all right listen I, i'm gonna say it straight bro you don't lie to yourself man i know you say you don't care but you do like lying to yourself ain't gonna make the situation better the funny thing is, right, they say, they say, they say, um, like the, I don't know what the saying is, but something like the people with the most problems have the best solutions, right? Or some shit like that. I don't know. It's like me, right? I, I've got, I've got all my own shit going on, right? And I never have the answers to my own problems, but I know exactly what to say to you. And it's just dumb, bro. Like, you need to not lie to yourself and, and uh, cause you, you do care, bro. Like the person who cares the most is you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be saying it. You need to... I mean, you've got two ways of going about it. 
you either wait to see if he approaches you and 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 between now and then just do what you think's best or not I think's best I've always tried to do what's best for this gang and this group I would have dropped and that's why everything you're still too I see bro still. Well, how much longer who bro, who knows why he did what he did who knows what what happens next like what if I'm not supposed to be too icy anymore and he did that to set an example and then when he speaks to me I'm not you don't know these things bro exactly and that's why I'm telling you that I can only sit here to tell you what I think yeah and <sighs> at the end of the day Jay it's not about what you think Man them in the mud. So, what, what do you want to to, to happen next? You know, what what is the ideal thing for you? I know you're just going to hit me with the I don't know, but like, you need to like sit and think about it. Like, do you, would you, would you like for, for you to have a conversation with T? He explains the situation and it's all smoothed out. Or... That's something I need to think about by myself. I agree. I think in a situation like this, bro, every question that you're asking yourself, the only person that has the answer is T. And the only way you're going to get those answers is by speaking to them. And it, it ain't going to be easy, bro. It is, you know, this shit's going to hurt physically and mentally until you speak to him. And I don't know T that well nowhere near as much as you do but i feel like <laughs> i thought i knew him too yeah but i definitely feel like i don't know he would leave it a little bit he would leave the thoughts to linger in your head i don't think he would um shoot you and then just come up to you an hour later and be like listen i'm sorry i don't think you would do that i don't think it's the type of guy i think you would let it let it sit you think about it and wait for you to approach him i can't lie but then again like i said i don't know him as well as you so i know you say you don't think you know him but it's tough i'm not in your position bro so what's the plan now plan yeah you know you are uh... I think I need some some time for myself you know yeah yeah. I'm gonna see a saint come and grab me. Hmm. Okay, let me give her a call. Hi, whereabouts are you?
Huh. Where about saw you? I. Uh, yeah. Can you leave and just come and pick me up, and then I'll come up there with you? Um. Can you meet me at the? Um, hmm. Can you meet me at the observatory? Alright, I'll be there. Alright, we'll be there. I ain't gonna say nothing to no one, but if the boys ask, do you want me to let them know I've seen you or. Sure, man. <clears throat> you just gonna be chilling by yourself for a little bit? I guess so. I mean, I'm gonna be around. Oh, you got my number, bro. You can hit me up. I can like say, bro, I, I, you know, I try my best, but my honest opinion, I think the only way for you to um, actually resolve this is is to speak to T. We'll see, man. We'll see. God, we're good though. Me too, bro. I'll wait for it. I'll wait for saying here, yeah, bro. Go do your thing, man. Go think about it. You know, if you need anything, just give me a shot, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, shit, chat. <laughs> Jeez. See what I'm saying? That's one down. Plenty more to go. You see what I'm saying? Serious RP chat. Serious. Hey, I hope you man enjoyed that, boys, on a big man thing. Guy didn't even fill up with gas after wasting that much fuel. Imagine. Idiot. But no, see, chat, listen. Remember when I said, depending on what people say to me, like as in my character, depends on the way I am to T, right? Jay completely just J1000 the fuck out of me and just said, a Mazzolini. I see you. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see, bro. We've got plenty more people to, to speak to, and that will dictate, you know, Adam's decision. You know, I don't want to have a decision ready, like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm letting the roleplay play out what the decision's going to be. So, they, Jay killed it there, I can't lie. He killed it. That was sick. That was sick. That was sick. That was fucking cold. I can't lie. That was cold, bro. Like I said, chat, the slow burn RP. That approach, it's there. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, Jay knows what I'm about. He'll tell the other boys one by one, day and day, another person to speak to. You know what I'm saying? So, who knows? Who knows? You already know D in the wicked's gonna fuck it. But I, we probably should have ended with Jay, I can't lie, but we started with Jay. We started with Jay. But oof, that was good RP. I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? I did miss quite a few subs. I can't lie. I should be in a wheelchair right now, but it's okay, man. It's okay.